Hello and welcome back. It's been a busy week for me because in a couple of days I'm gonna leave Gabriola Island and it felt like I had like 1000 things to do on my bucket list still for this place. So now uh, on my last days here on Gabriola the weather is actually nice. I wasn't that uh, fortunate with the weather on my days off. It usually rained even though it might seem here on YouTube that I live uh, life in continuous sunshine. No it's not like that and I just uh, do the video recording on the days of sun and today I'm going to show you what it was that I still wanted to do on Gabriola. It's my second last weekend here in um, Gabriola and um, yeah as always it's a grey and rainy day. I really have bad luck with my days off because usually before and afterwards it's pretty nice weather. Just the days when I have off it's rainy, dark, grey, cloudy. So yeah pretty difficult to work on my last points on the bucket list but um, one thing was uh, pretty important on my bucket list and I can do it even on rainy days. That is going to the hairdresser. Perhaps you remember from a previous video that I already tried once to go to the hairdresser here in Canada which didn't work out that well because he almost didn't cut off anything but uh, now it's really necessary. I almost grew a beaver up here. So <laughs> second attempt. This time it's a barber shop where you actually choose from the beginning if you want to have like a bold fade or the normal cut or for long hair. So I picked like the standard cut uh, and yeah pretty curious how this will turn out. But now I need to head to the ferry. So I'm back from the barber shop and I'm pretty happy with the result. I think it's not the perfect time to present it now because I feel a little bit sweaty. It's still grey but uh, pretty warm and um, I need to walk back the whole way. The public transportation here in Nanaimo is not that good so the bus would go back just every 70 or 80 minutes and it was quicker the walking than taking the bus. Yeah, the experience was interesting because um, yeah, usually in Germany you also have a lot of small talk at the barbershop but uh, here it covered everything from politics to gender equality to the Covid situation and um, yeah, everything that you can imagine of. I also got introduced to um, other waiting clients there and uh, had small talk with them. So for me it was pretty unusual but uh, I like this um, small talk thing here in Canada especially during the pandemic when you don't have that many social contacts. It's nice to get asked once in a while how I'm feeling and how my day was. So um, yeah it was uh, pretty nice and now I'm heading back to the ferry. Hello! Today is a perfect day to work on my bucket list here on Gabriola. It's uh, nice and sunny and we have the warmest day since I'm here. It's uh, around 25 degrees and one thing on my bucket list is uh, that I make use of living that close to the ocean and dip into the water today. That's something I'm a little bit scared of because I'm usually not good when it comes to cold water and I'm nervous since I got up this morning and um, without this YouTube channel I probably wouldn't go. <laughs> but uh, it's good that I have it, uh, have it as a challenge and uh, yeah I now need to hike to the beach where I want to swim and um, hopefully the weather will stay like that so uh, that it's easier for me to enter the water.
so I arrived at the beach and got myself like a little private uh, spot here so that I can speak to the camera. So I would say it's time for a quick uh, assessment of the situation. Out of nowhere there were like uh, there are waves now and they clearly show me that this seagrass thingy is going on quite a while into the deeper water. Guys, I'm so happy that I brought my water shoes. That's slimy, <laughs> smelly, um, yeah, seagrass. I just um, see how it feels. Oh, not even in. Okay, refreshed. Can go back. <laughs> In my head it seemed all a little bit more inviting. <laughs> ah, that's a real uh, challenge for me. Honestly, I don't know why I'm so nervous about it or frightened of cold water. Perhaps La Réunion ruined my sea experience with these shark waters there. But I mean, here they have orcas, sea lions and all kinds of things, but I'm not scared of the marine life. It's more getting a heart attack <laughs> from the cold water, so I will practice some breathing techniques and uh, hopefully I can dip in. Now I'm ready or not, <laughs> I'm uh, not sure yet, uh, but I think I will just run in quickly, dip in, enjoy it for three minutes and then go out and then I will be so happy that I did it, but uh, at the moment yeah, I don't really see myself in there. Of course, I could now tell you the heroic story of me running straight into the sea with no hesitation and dip right in. But that's not what actually happened. To be honest, this is my third dip because I kind of enjoyed it after the drama of the first one. But here's the whole story. So here you see the slime I need to cross. And I hate it when the beach is so shallow that you need to walk in forever until you reach like water that is uh, <laughs> deep enough to just jump, jump in it. Oh, oh. <laughs> almost reached my uh, swimming pants, but just almost. Oh. I think now it's the final countdown. I will have my first dip in the Pacific. A little longer than a few minutes later. I just returned from the water and I'm so glad that uh, I made it. It was actually a nice experience and yes there was seagrass but just in the uh, beginning not uh, deeper in. Now I'm super proud of myself that I uh, did this challenge and can cross it from my bucket list and uh, yeah that's a good feeling and I can uh, leave Gabriola um, with that challenge completed. Another mandatory thing while living on Gabriola was visiting the local museum. So I used a rainy day to pay it a visit. The entrance is free and you can donate if you liked it. There I found all kind of information about local wildlife, geography and history. In the garden they had an exhibition of petroglyph replicas, which are ancient stone carvings from the Snunaymax First Nation.
the to do for today is uh, watching the sunset after I got up uh, for the sunrise uh, the other week and uh, now it's the easier part of watching the sunset. It's a nice and sunny day today. It's almost the last one because the weather should change and yeah, to celebrate the sunset with a sea view, it's um, also necessary to have a sundowner. Three hours later. I prepared some snacks and a sundowner, but since it's um, not allowed to drink alcohol in public in Canada, I filled it into a lemonade bottle like a teenager um, to have my sundowner. And um, afterwards, I hope I'm going to make the way back the one hour hike to my trailer. But since um, even after sunsets, it still stays um, bright for a couple of while, I should be there before it's pitch black. So, and otherwise I'm going to have my headlight with me and yeah, we'll, we'll make my way home. I already uh, sound like I had some of my uh, lemonade, but haven't had. I arrived at the Malaspinas galleries and it's pretty nice. I don't know if I'm gonna see a full sunset because there are clouds, but anyway, it's beautiful. I just have a minor incident with my booze smuggling <laughs> uh, thing. I um, filled up something in this uh, Sprite bottle, but um, I thought perhaps you're gonna be thirsty. I want to have a beer as well. So I packed a can into my uh, backpack, perhaps just to refill it um, when I want to have another drink. But um, actually the um, can leaked and uh, now I don't know where the, where the leak is. It's in my bag. I can't really take it out because it's uh, illegal and I can't really fill it in this bottle because I <laughs> would need to drink it completely. So. Uh, I didn't thought this through, but um, we'll see. Um, it's not that packed here, so probably I will just um, try to um, drink it here uh, quickly and then try to get rid of the can somewhere. I really enjoyed my time here on Gabriola, but now it's time to explore the rest of Canada. All right, guys, that's it for today. Have a good one and see you soon. Bye bye.